Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Desi Amelia uh, I'm from fourth semester and I'm students of Sharif Hidayatullah Islamic State University and the major is English Education Faculty of Teaching Scientist. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. First, I want to introduce about of the textbook. Uh, the book title is English Through Pictures Book 1 and 2. The authors are Richard and Christine M. Gibson. The genre is workbook. Number of page is 513. Now I wanted to present the assignment of the reviewing textbook that I have done a review before making this video. I had made a video like this when presenting a review of a novel that I have did it and I'm apologize if you heard a sound that disturbs you in hearing this video let's start it first about the authors I have searched for biography or information about the authors on Google but there is no information whatsoever that I got from the internet. In this book consists of two books. The first book tells the simple things and the second book is more complex than the first book. There is no chapter in every book. First, I want to explain book one. The first book tells the simple things. In this book, there is no chapters. This is book consists of so many pictures and the explanation of these pictures. In this book, there are about 500 important words in the sentences with the meaning shown through pictures. Every picture is give the sentences. In this book, the pictures are read sequence. There are four pictures in every page and every picture relate to each another from the first picture until the last picture. This book consists of questions. We have to know the picture and we answer the questions. This book also gives so many vocabularies too. There are several Questions who have the same patterns like the question before. There are pictures, so we have to guess the picture, and there are case answer of the questions. This book consists of the simple word in the beginning until the complex word, and this book. Also consists of the simple word in the beginning until the complex word. All of the questions have the same pattern. Like there are a picture that we have to answer and there is a K answer to the right answer. There are several true or false questions too. And there are statements that we have to know the statement are true or false. In the end this book, there are the explanation of simple present past and future too. And there are explanation about comparison. Next, I want to explain book two. The second book 
is more complex than the first book. There is no chapter in the second book. In this book, there are texts who related to the picture and there are some conversation in this book. The sentences are longer than the first chapter. There are several questions who related from the explanations. In this book, there are so many explanations and texts, and there are pictures too, but just to make the explanation is more complete. There are only several questions. The questions are related from the explanations. And this book tells about country, earth, and other topics. This book brings some the important ideas or facts needed if we are to ask ourselves what we should know and think or feel and do. There are a lot of explanation than the questions. Next, I want to explain what the most I like of this book. Because there are so many pictures in this book. I'm a sir, I'm as a reader, feel so interesting. This book consists of so many pictures and sentences that relate with the pictures. One picture to the another picture are like sequences. I could learn from the picture what the another means. Besides the pictures, there are so many explanations before we do the questions. The questions are simple and it is easy to answer because the questions are just about the picture and there are the key answer in the next pages after the question and i think it will make the pictures and i think it will make the readers know what is the right answer of the questions all the picture are related to each another to develop our, our vocabulary then in the book two the picture and the text related with our daily life after that sentences we can find the material about simple present past and future although just a little explanation about it Beside the simple question, I found about true or fal false questions from the statements, so the student can learn about the sentence are true or false. Next, I want to explain uh, what I dislike mm, in this book because there is just a little exercise that we could do there are so many picture and sentences i think if the book there are so many question or exercise it will make the readers are more understand because they did the exercise next i want to explain a about my experience after I read this book. I think this book best for the student in elementary school and for beginners who want to learn about English because this book has many picture and explanation in every picture. Book 1 is useful for beginners and book 2 for intermediate who have a basic knowledge because book 2 is more complex than book 1. In common, some students learned English 
elementary school, in my experience, I have learned about the basic sentences from the pictures. When I was in elementary school, and this book has many chapters that I have ever learned in elementary school too. I think this book is useful for students who want to develop their vocabulary because there are so many vocabularies from this book. This book is best for students in elementary school because the sentences of this book is simple. So, the students could understand about the sentences. I'm, I'm considered that the students could improve their vocabulary through pictures and we could learn from all of just pictures to make a simple sentences in this book useful as a basic to know the simple sentences so i think enough for me thanks for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh